my life was not easy. Especially working a farm, living a farm. It was not easy. When I started college, I had to work so hard. All those years, until I got my degree at RIT, I went to work on the farm as much as I could to support myself, working and helping my, my brothers, picking apples or anything that I could do, or picking um, any other fruit, helping them out so I can get some money. During the summertime, I probably will work in two different jobs so I can save money for my college. And then at the same time, taking care of my boy. And then at the same time, you have to face somebody who doesn't want you to go to school or people who doesn't want you to go to school. So it took me 10 years because sometimes I was full-time or part-time. I remember that they were, I took like a year off before I transferred to RIT. And, and so it was not easy, but finally I made it. By the time I graduated at RIT, actually I already had a lot of knowledge with a lot of the communities. I work in my own communities around, uh, besides working in the field by myself, on my, besides working on the field. And, and on the other side, I was working with the community to um, do a lot of work because um, I was learning Spanish and English. I mean, uh, English is my third language and Spanish is my second language. Mixtec is my actually native language, which is completely off from Spanish. So you had to learn Spanish and then you had to learn English. When I came into this country, I did not know uh, enough Spanish so I can really understand when I started high school. So it was a challenge for me too because I did not know that language. Um, even though if I have a um, tutor would translate me, but it was not easy for me just to understand it straight from the translation because I did not know enough Spanish or well enough Spanish in order for me to be able to understand what they were translating. So I would tell my tutor many times, you know what, you have to explain it to me in a different way because I do not understand what you translated. <laughs> so it was a challenge. So, but I'm, I didn't actually learn so much about the workers' right into I joined RMM, Rural Migrant Ministry. And so shortly after I graduated RIT, I already joined in our, uh, Rural Migrant Ministry. So when I joined in Rural Migrant Ministry, I learned so much about the basic rights for the workers, which I did not know that we didn't have any basic rights. I was working on the farm, like I saw you. I got molested, I got a sexual abuse. I, we went through many, many abuses, not just sexual abuse, but I mean labor abuses, like salaries. A lot of people might not get paid enough of what they've been working on. So, uh, right now, the right is that if you work and you don't make enough uh, to match the minimum um, salary, or the minimum hours that you, they, you're supposed to get paid, they're supposed to pay you the difference, but a lot, of, a lot of the farmers will not pay the difference. They won't care because you don't ask. You know, if you don't know you're right and you don't ask, so they're okay with it, you know? And so a lot of people, sometimes they won't complain because say, if I'm complaining, they might not um, keep on giving me job also. So there's a lot of issues that, uh, being struggled with too, either you're complaining because you know, or either you don't want to complain because you don't want to get fired, and so, or simply you just don't know. You're just thinking about oh, it's whatever you made, and, and that's what it is. And the problem is that sometimes you don't make enough because, uh, for example, when I came in, when I first came into the country, like I said, I did not know how to pick tomatoes because it's different than what I was doing, helping my parents. I mean, I did not have to carry those buckets, you know, it's, it's a different condition. So when I came to this country, I did not know that I had to like 
really running fast enough and I would just wonder why everybody was running and just because they were not making enough. And then if you're not making enough, uh, because you took you take your own lane and if you're not fast enough, uh, people are gonna jump into your role because you're getting behind or also because um, they're getting smart to pick up your tomatoes in your road, so it's two, two things at the same time, you know? So you have to be really quick and really fast in order for you to make. Um, so, but what I'm saying is that if you don't make enough, and if you don't know because this is the first time that you came in, you're not going to learn right away. So when you don't learn right away to pick, eat all these crops, you're probably not going to make enough. So when you're not making enough to match the minimum wage and you don't get that difference because you're brand new and you didn't speak up and you did not know what the rule and that's what it happened to a lot of people. Um, I'm going to show you later on about the apple um, picker, uh, the apple picker, so I'll talk to you a little about that. But, uh, but when I joined the RMN, that's how I knew that um, there was a lot of things that I needed to know and that I did not know. And that brought my attention to speak with RMN, to learn more about the workers' rights, to learn more about what I, what I can do. And I really, it really got my attention that I wanted to keep on um, being part of those because I said, I can do something. I can like educate people about my experience and then, um, get more people to support um, our bill. And that's how I started, actually. Uh, when I started educating people, not just educating community, but also educating uh, the workers to, to speak up for their rights. Because like I said, uh, there's a lot of people who do not know just, I mean, there's still a lot of people right now that who does not know their rights because um, people migrate. So every time you get new people in different spots, every time. So when new people come in, uh, they don't know their rights. Uh, so, so for that, I educate in both sides, the allies or the communities and also the workers. And, and so by the time we knew, I was already uh, educating a lot of people and, and um, you know, advocating for the workers in New York State. Uh, farm workers in New York State do not have a day off. Uh, do not have a collecting bargain. So like I said, you cannot complain if you don't know, or, or also if you cannot complain, uh, or you don't want to complain because you don't want to get fired. And basically that's what happens a lot, you know? When you're complaining, you probably will get fired because uh, farmers do not want people to get complained because they say, well, we got more workers, so if you don't like it, just leave. And basically that's the work against workers.